My man said there's only one truth. His name is Jesus, Yeshua. Now I'm not gonna bash you for what you believe in. However, I am gonna challenge that statement. Now, if we look at John chapter eight, verse 54, Jesus said this, if I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Now, there's plenty of other verses in the Bible where Jesus is the one giving credit to God. He even says, I come not to do my will, but the will of the father. Yet many Christians get this dynamic confused and worship Jesus alone as if he is God, which is contrary to what the man was saying in the Bible. But allow me to give you some history on Christianity and a little metaphysical breakdown of Christ and what that truly means. Book reference, because 99% of Christians have never looked into the history of Christianity. Constantine and the Christian Empire. But Constantine's new allegiance to Christianity was genuine, though he imperfectly understood the Christian faith and at first did not even distinguish clearly between the Father of Jesus Christ and the Divine Son. Constantine retained the pagan high priest title of Pontifex Maximus. For a decade, his coins continued to feature some of the pagan gods, notably his own favorite deity, the unconquered sun. And this is why in a lot of pictures you see a so-called Jesus, you see a sun in the background, or close around his head like this. Christ as the sun god mounting the heavens in his chariot, an early 4th century Roman mosaic ceiling. And this is what it looked like. It is important to understand Constantine's previous religion, the worship of the unconquered sun. When in 321, Constantine made the first day of the week a holiday, he called it the Venerable Day of the Sun, which is Sunday. Christianity and Pagan Customs The Christian church took over many pagan ideas and images. From sun worship, for example, came the celebration of Christ's birthday on the 25th of December, the birthday of the sun. And you can easily look up the fact that the Greek and Roman sun god was called Christos Helios which translates into anointed son. So that's why when you look up the etymology of Messiah, it says it comes from the Hebrew word, Messiah means the anointed. It is thus the Hebrew equivalent of Christ, and it is the word rendered in the Septuagint as Greek Christos, see Christ. Christ, from the Latin word Christus, from Greek Christos, means the anointed. And this was symbolically put in the movie Lion King when Rafiki rubbed his head with oil, and then symbolically lifted him high above everyone else. Oh, and before I forget, Christ is a title, not a name. But from there, let's go to the chakras. Number three, Trinity. Solar plexus chakra. Solar means sun. Solar means sun. Soul means sun. Now don't Christians say Jesus give them life? Jesus has all the power? And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me? Now check this out. If we look at the etymology of the word God, God has a proto-Indo-European root word of gut. Wow, go figure. That which is invoked. So when you invoke, you speak it. That's why in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. From Sanskrit, huta, meaning invoke. And that's why you have a gut feeling, which directly coincides with the solar plexus chakra being in your gut. So yes, Christ is the truth. Peace. <laughs>